Welcome to r slash entitled people where this crazy Karen expects a worker at a phone store to be a mind reader Entitled mum and daughter angry that I couldn't mind read this was a while back I was working in a phone shop while completing my degree a mum and daughter come in asking me to upgrade the daughter's phone So she had a decent phone for university with plenty of data So I congratulated the daughter and asked her about her course She looked me up and down and said i'd never understand I start going through the spiel and notice they're sniggering making demeaning comments things like why is she so slow? While doing a knocking gesture to their foreheads and these types of people are always a bit dense I ignored it got a bit flustered but pushed on the mum started asking me about the direct debit I just set up confused because we already had that in place I said I haven't set one up I don't need to she asked this a couple of times loudly and more slowly and each time I explained the existing one was already set up she got annoyed asking me if I was special needs and did I need help it turns out she wanted a new contract in her daughter's name When I said she hadn't asked for that, they both laughed and the mum said, See, this is why you stay in school, so you don't end up like this. Then she gestures towards me. The mum then asked me if I was deaf as well as dumb, doing exaggerated mouth movements as she spoke. Then she said that I should have known what they meant. It wasn't hard to figure out. Demanded I get someone with a functioning brain cell and working ears to serve them instead. When I refused, she went on a tirade about how I lacked any intelligence and probably shouldn't have a job since I can't manage simple requests. Demanded a manager instead. I obliged just to get away from them for a few seconds. I was reeling at how surreal the whole exchange was. When my manager appeared, the Karen demanded we do this properly. Since I was clearly too stupid to do my very simple job and she wanted a discount as compensation for her awful experience. My manager had my back. She refused service, informed them I was a student myself who didn't deserve this hassle and asked them to leave. The mum looked a bit awkward, then threatened to get us both fired for ruining her weekend with her daughter. They took some encouragement to actually leave. Once they were gone, I went out the back and cried like a total wimp. All right, sorry guys, we're gonna have to change up the music real quick. I've got something to say to OP. Listen, I'm proud of you. You're not a wimp. You're working hard. You're a student. You've got a job on the side. You're doing everything you can to be successful in life. It's not your fault that you get these horrible customers coming into your store, demeaning you, bullying you, being rude, ruining your day for no reason at all while you're just trying to do your work. It's horrible and it's not your fault. You just know that this daughter is not even going to make it past her own semester. She's way too entitled. She's learned badly from her mother, let's be realistic, and she's going to drop out pretty soon. Whereas you, you're a hard worker. You're going to do well in life. You're going to smash your job, smash your degree, and you're going to be successful. And you just need to know that just think about it like this in five years where are you gonna be and in five years where is this entitled girl gonna be and where's her mum gonna be as well she's probably gonna be in a pretty bad place you're gonna be living your best life doing what you do best succeeding believing yourself and also it's fine to cry everyone does it all right now cut the soppy music let's get into the second story bit off more than he could chew i actually joined reddit because of some family stories but i haven't worked up the nerve to post the hurtful stuff yet I thought I'd post a funny one and see how it goes. Now, I wasn't there myself, but this was the story as told. My uncle, technically mum's uncle, but we all call him that, is a veteran. He lost a leg in the Marines and had to get a replacement. Now, he didn't like the way the plain rods felt or looked, so he had one that looked more like a real leg. When he wore long pants, you couldn't tell he'd been wounded, except for a slight limp. He calls it his robot leg. We live in a tiny town with a tiny town store. There's this kid who's there a lot and his favorite thing is to bite people while they're waiting in line I think he must be related to the people who own the place But he's a pain in the butt and they don't do anything about him He's like six so way too old to be biting people Anyway, my uncle's in town and goes to the store to get candy because he always brings candy when he visits He's in line and bite him with bite face starts his usual thing of annoying people and then biting them when they won't give him what he wants. My uncle's watching and waiting for someone to stop him, but no one does. My uncle gets near the front of the line and the kid comes up to him. I guess he wanted the candy and uncle told him no. Now Bitey doesn't like this, so he walks off, sneaks up behind my uncle and chomp, tries to bite that solid resin leg. Then he runs off screaming. My uncle laughs, people in line laugh, and the kid's probably on his way to the dentist. What a story. Hey, listen, don't get me wrong. It's very embarrassing for everyone involved that this kid is still biting people's legs at the age of six. That's crazy. But if there's one way that you can teach him a lesson, it's by having him bite on a resin leg. It really is special. And now moving on to our third entitled people story. 
Entitled mother cusses me out over a cake and gifts. This probably won't be the situation you expected. For a bit of information, I am an 18 year old woman and I'm the assistant manager at a trampoline park. This happened about a month ago, but I didn't have read it until recently. So my coworker and I were getting the park ready to be open for the day. On weekends, we usually are slammed with birthday parties people have booked, but on this Sunday, we didn't have any scheduled. I was pretty optimistic because no parties means less stress for the entire staff. But as soon as the doors are opened, enter entitled mother and her family and friends carrying a cake and gifts. My good mood withers away and dies upon seeing this for one reason. I have to either convince this woman to buy a party package or face the wrath of entitlements. Why can't I just let them have their cake and gifts without paying the extra amounts is something I get asked by guests every time this happens. It happens a lot more than you might think. Now it's because of company policy. You're allowed to bring all that in if you've booked a party with us. If not, then you can't have it inside the park. I've got a lot of respect for my general manager and corporate manager, so I stick to the rules. Anyhow, I go up to Entitled Mother as she's talking to my coworker to buy jump time for the kids. Hello there, how are you today? I'm doing all right. It's my daughter's birthday today, so we thought we'd come here to celebrate it. Happy birthday to your kiddo. But mom, I do have to tell you that you can't have all of these items in here without having a party booked. It's company policy. Would you like to set one up? Now we don't have any schedule today, so it's really no problem at all. Unsurprisingly, this is where things started going south. She was going off about how she called two weeks before to double check if it was okay, and she was told it was. She even pulled up her call log on her phone just to prove she did. Now, I never said I didn't believe her. I checked the date and time to see who would have been the one talking to her, and I asked her to come with me down to the end of the entry hallway so we could hear, and I got a hold of my second co-worker. My second co-worker told me that they had told the entitled mum that gifts were okay to bring in, but cake was not. My phone, which I had on speaker and was holding between us, was snatched out of my hand by the entitled mum, who started shouting at the co-worker, calling them a liar. I took my phone back and told the mum not to speak to my co-workers like that. I apologized and hung up. By this point, it's become clear that there's been a misunderstanding in multiple places. But before I could mention that, the Karen began to scream at me and call me every insult under the sun. The entitled mum's husband, who we're gonna call Hat because he was wearing a pretty cool hat apparently, has wandered down to us and is standing there listening. My resting female dog face must have activated because this Karen was raging about how my expression was stony and how it's pretty clear I don't have kids because I don't care about how the daughter will be upset and how frustrating it is that I'm telling them no. I bit my tongue on a bunch of retorts and said instead, the general manager and the corporate manager would both tell you the same thing I have. Hat, who is now looking like he regretted his life choices, told his wife that once the kids jump, they can take their things somewhere else to celebrate. She got huffy but said nothing, just stormed off, muttering. I went into the office and called my general manager, boss man, to let him know what happened in case we received a complaint on our website and to ask if he had talked to the entitled mum at all. He said no, but being the nice guy he is, asked to talk to her so he could offer her a discounted price on a party package. When I come back out, I tell the Karen that my manager would like to speak to her. She irritably agrees to talk to him and we walk back down the hallway. I call him, give her my phone and stand back. They introduce themselves and the entitled mum plunges straight into complaining about how I told them they couldn't have a cake and gifts without a party package, how me and my second co-worker were lying, and then she lied herself by saying I asked to see her call log. Boss man must have said the same thing I told her because the entitled mum shrieked like a wounded banshee and started cussing him out too. It ultimately ended with her angry crying and hanging up on him right after a swear-filled insult, giving me my phone back and storming away again. Three seconds later, he calls me back, understandably fuming, and told me to call mall security, have them escort the entitled mum out, and ban her from the mall. By then, the kids were already jumping, and I didn't want to ruin what fun they could have, so I told him I'd do it if she got rude with me or other co-workers. She didn't. She never said a word to me or any of the other staff that clocked in while she was there. Once the kids were done, they gathered their things up and left. So, yeah. That's my experience with an entitled parent. 
You know what, OP, I actually rate you so highly for doing that, going against what your boss told you to do and actually letting the kids continue to play in the trampoline park because the last thing you'd want to do, right, is ruin this girl's birthday just because her entitled mum is acting up and, you know, going off on one. That's not the girl's fault, is it? That's the mum being stupid. But the girl obviously has nothing to do with that. So to ruin her birthday just because her mum is acting up would be a little bit too much in my opinion. So I completely agree with what you did. Well done. Tell you what though, I really hope this entitled mum doesn't ruin any future birthdays that her daughter has. Because, look, if an employee was less nice than you and less understanding and less forgiving, they would all have been kicked out pretty promptly.